We've got all kinds of interesting speakers for you today who are going to talk about this fascinating subject, which is light. Electric light will make people work themselves to death. Lighting makes the difference. And if you see a good, a good design piece, then it talks. I want to disagree. Oh, good. Great. Great. <laughs> And the worst part is the, the fact that when you create these kind of dreams, the client might buy it, might buy it, and then you have to figure out how the hell do you build it. I think the darkness is always the origin for me. Darkness is the state of being without any energy, any concept of time. And the light carries the time, because the light needs energy in order to be alive. He asked, why do you do it? I have never seen any asymmetrical chair. I said, mm-hmm, that's why. I like to work with light because light is an uh, eternal mystery for me. I'm never going to understand light, and that's great. Actually, that's exactly what Albert Einstein said, that the rest of my life I will study light. Moments like this, Kura Schimning, doesn't exist anymore. I believe that it's time to restore light to man, not illuminate people. So I think that often the architects don't really get to work that much with the lighting. You just call in some electrical guy that pum, 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 fills the roof, goes with the meter, okay, 500 lux, we're done. With Magnus, it was like the perfect opportunity to do that lamp that I always wanted to do. I think that the, for the lighting in the future, there will be more interaction. But of course, when we are making the lighting now and in the future, we can't meet this dynamic visual system by a static uh, lighting design. It must be dynamic. I'm so hating it. You go to a restaurant <laughs> and then you, you order a salad and it's, in five minutes time it's blue, purple, <laughs> green, things like that. And then it's absolutely I like fun. Kill the lighting <laughs> designer, you know? If you take a look at designing in general, it's one of the only uh, uh, places where you design something, you, where your design is influencing more than the object himself. And you can design furniture from here to eternity, but it will never kick so much ass as, uh, <laughs> as a piece of lighting. I, I am absolutely convinced that uh, LED, OLED, and this kind of technology will take over in the future. And frankly, I look at so many products today, and I find them so unbelievably complex and so unbelievably elaborate that I don't have any relationship with them anymore. You know, it's all kind of mad. But to be very, very frank, as a designer, it's one of the few areas you make money. <laughs> I think we should make a statement. If you think, no, this is wrong, we could do it in a better way. We should stand up and at least speak out and loud. Because all the people inside the nightclub is drunk and doesn't care about the interior, and uh, uh, the only way to communicate is with the light. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also the moon. I think it's uh, give the reflection of light. That's one of two of them, lying down in the summer night and watching at the moon. Good answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks very much, everyone. So follow the, um, what is it called? The, the trail of light or the procession of light or the light beam thing. Which are the best lighting designs of all time? The Pantheon in Rome, a candle, and the moon. What else do we need to say about lighting design? I think we've covered everything. 